This is a tutorial showing how to read in the liberation data measured by MLA into HSC and prepare it for simulation. The session goes through by reading the liberation data first in HSC to create mineral setup and then the creating stream file. Then studying the liberation information in HSC and modifying the stream file for simulation. And this goes through calculating missing size fractions and adjusting the mineral composition and finally packing the data. For doing this exercise you need an HSC chemistry and we are using HSC data. And then you need these um, um, MLA measurements which are I'll show the files. So these are the files you need. So they, they represent uh, five different size fractions from 10 microns up to 150 micrometers. And they are a feed sample and that's a Kennington ore from Sergio Vienna's uh, PhD study. So we begin to, by starting HSC Geo. Oh, sorry, I'll to be sure that I'm using the version, right version, I'll take the opening the HSC and here from HSC main window, I open the HSC Geo. The particle treat, uh, treatment is taking place here in particles, so let's open that one. And first of all, we need to create the mineral setup. So we select mineral setup, create, and read MLA. And uh, you can take whatever of these files because they are all identical. So I take feed 10 to 20 micrometers. And uh, it shows 42 minerals. And it's uh, quite a lot. And if we look it a little bit more carefully, we can find that there are, for example, three different sphalerites. So it doesn't don't it doesn't seem to be wise to treat the uh, them as as 42 minerals. So therefore, we go to a step of combine combining these minerals. And the rules for combining there is a slide about that so we will combine the minerals according to this this table so we take galena as one mineral then sphalerite uh, three different sphalerites then we take an, uh, silver antimony minerals to be presented by freiburg guide and then uh, other sulfides represented by pyrite uh, or iron sulfides and chalcopyrite is very small quantities so we put it there. Arsenopyrite takes also lelingite and goodmanite, talc. Why we take talc? Because that's uh, naturally floating so and it tends to give a high magnesium grade in the concentrate. And then um, sort of non-floating silicates on, and also this uh, oxides uh, we lump into one group, which is represented by quartz. And then uh, fluoride put as a one because once again the fluoride grade tends to be too high in a concentrate, and we need to follow that. So how to combine so uh, different minerals? There are some uh, rules here, but. Uh, you should include all the minerals having some significance for the final concentrate. So for the penalty elements, uh, they, you need to identify in which minerals there are and take then the penalty, these minerals into as one group or several groups. And on the other hand, you need to simplify your scheme. So we are now combining minerals according to this table. So get, getting back to HSC Geo and now we select select here I'm organizing a bit this table I can see the table and now 
combine. So first one, Galena, I move it using this arrow. Then the next group is Phalerite, I take this SPH1. And then taking others, Phalerite, selecting them. And now there, this mineral group, I'm, I'm putting these others, Phalerites, it must be selected. So I'm using this um, button to move SPH2 and 3 into SPH1. And uh, if you double click, now you see that there are there. So first Galena done, Svelleride done, Freiburgite. So we take Freiburgite 1 and uh, that's there. And then we select Freiburgite 2 and control by clicking control, Bordenite, uh, Acanthite, Discrocite. And uh, that I don't remember what is that, but I'm moving that into the fiber. Guide pyrite and uh, pyrite goes there, and now combining pyrotite and chalcopyrite, arsenopyrite, and then we'll get lullingite, goodmundite there and then we take uh, quartz oh sorry talc and then talc the other talc goes there too and then we take quartz And uh, fluorite like that. And now the remaining, I need to select quartz here. And the remaining, what is this doing now? I'll move to be with quartz. Now I'm done. I rename Galena is like that. Sphalerite, I will give a name SB. Driver guide, rename FR, pyrite, arsenal pyrite, and talc. I'm using the standard names of HSC. I just happen to remember those. You can check from HSC geo mineral database uh, names but you can also use your own naming system if you like I'm done this one so now you see pressing OK getting back to this mineral window you see that the which minerals are included in each of these groups so this row number nine and the chemical composition of the minerals is shown here. So you can modify it and what the chemical composition of the first mineral was taken to represent the whole group. This can be edited, but we leave it like, uh, like it is. Then we modify the size fractions and I need to check it here, the size fractions which are so we will use a total of seven size fractions and the first one we haven't measured and also the last one is something which haven't been measured so I'm just copying this down to get seven rows this unfortunately must be done with the current HSC version manually typing their seven size fractions and then I'm copying that the lower size is taking from the upper size of the previous size fraction. So this goes to 10, 10 to 20. I need to check here. So it goes 38, 75, 38, 75. 106, 
150 and 300. So now this hasn't been measured and this hasn't been measured. All right. Now we have these ready. So basically we take back and we save. And this we will call min setup. You need to remember where you save it because later on when you open it's wise to put them into the stream files and mineral setup in the same place. So this is the mineral setup. So this will be the global mineral in in. So this describes the chemical composition of the minerals and the uh, minerals included there. So now we start to produce uh, or create the stream uh, file. So clicking here stream, create. And uh, then we take here read MLA. And now we read one by one these files, uh, and then we'll uh, s save it. So we need once checking this, uh, taking this feed 10 to 20. I need to be careful to select here 10 to 20. So that's the size fraction. And now HSC reads the particles. And in this stage, it's also uh, crew uh, puts together fully liberated particles. Then the next is 20 to 38. That's there. Loading and uh, saving. Uh, and then the third one. 38 to 75, 38 to 75. And here we go. Next one is 75 to 106. That's the one, and there's still one to go. That's 106, 150, 106, 150. And these, these are our measurements. And now, what is missing is the mass proportion in each size fraction. This information, so it uh, HSC uses as default. So this is from the size fractions. Uh, sizing this information comes, but uh, and then you type in this tons per hour. Let's say it's twenty point one tons per hour. Uh, at this point, we can save uh, this uh, stream file for the first time. This is the uh, unprocessed stream file, so just read in particles. So I normally call this as a zero file. So I take back and uh, stream save. And this is now feed, feed, and I give it the name as a zero. Now the next steps are uh, Let's see, we have 9,000 particles. It's quite a lot for the simulation purposes. And uh, then we are missing two size fractions. To calculate these missing size fractions, we need to do some stages first. And it goes here, the process. So what we do now is that we create basic binning which means that it creates a certain kind of with the classification which can be seen op options here. So here you define the liberation threshold which if we put 100 it takes only fully liberated minerals into that one. Tolerance, how many persons there can be uh, another mineral that it still calls as a binary. So that is normally you should put the uh, quite big and 20 is the classes how many cl binary classes 
ternaries yes established and then uh, that's fine so okay and I'm ready to do the basic binning before that I'm checking that how many particle classes 900,000 particle classes basic binning and it will take some time first of all it bins uh, uh, liberated particles and because the threshold was 100 they will be only fully liberated particles in in the each uh, liberated class after this uh, uh, after being liberated it will be uh, binaries and uh, and uh, ternaries so uh, this takes a while Therefore, I'm taking a pause in this uh, recording and getting back when when the binning has been done. Okay, now HSC has done the calculations. It took some time, and uh, but uh, don't get upset if, if uh, HSC doesn't respond. It will. It is calculating. It's. Uh, if you just uh, don't do anything on a screen, you should be able to see all the time the progress of the calculation. But if you start to do something else, then the memory obviously is not enough for performing all the calculations. Um, okay, so what we have now here is 6,000 particles. And if, you st if we just check that how the particles, the first particle is fully liberated Galena, of the first size fraction and uh, now going the second size fractions here we have for example spherite uh, uh, arsenopyrite and with the uh, five percent uh, intervals so this is now uh, Basic, after basic binning, so I'm saving this file as a feed one, and that's done. Uh, now I need to input this uh, size mass proportion. So let's say that this is the uh, size. Ten percent, fifteen, fifteen, ten, twenty missing. So, as you see now, these uh, ma uh, minerals are missing fully there. So, what we uh, do now is the create the missing size fractions from here and uh, also we should create a uh, modal composite let's do first the uh, create here the modal which means that it creates now the reference table of mineral grades by size this comes from the element to mineral conversion or we could also copy like I'm doing here I'm copying now the modal composition by size and the finest size fraction I will use the first measured and the same with the coarsest size fraction Now I have prepared the reference table for the modal composition. This is exactly the same as measured. We could use also some other values like element to mineral conversion could give that the Galena grade is actually uh, lower 40% for example. And then this rebalance would correct that. But we get back here and we take this missing. So now it starts to create the uh, particles for these missing size fractions and uh, something should happen I hope so that it will create so it doesn't seem to show 
okay now now there comes uh, some progress bar it shows that it's created these particles and uh, hopefully it's soon ready it creates a new class again and here we go so now there's a created a particles for also the this size cause and fine size fraction and now the model composition by this doing this is 43 and it's actually here should be 49 so the next step we are to, we're pressing this rebalance and it will correct now the mineral grades to be matching the one which we gave there on a the model page so rebalance and it will go now through this um, calculation so it changes it the first size fraction and the second one don't do hardly anything the third size fraction uh, the same only shouldn't be a, uh, much happening there or actually anything happening there I think it's only like a fifth decimals or so which are changing and uh, now we have adjusted the modal composition and we will save this feed and this will be now feed number three basic pinning also created missing size fractions and adjusting uh, the model composition so after this we can study this uh, uh, by pressing graphs in the graphically the studying different things it takes a while to read uh, to open the graphical interface for HSC Geo and I will change it to chart and then going one by one these buttons to show what is there available mineral composition by size elemental composition by size particle size distribution uh, for full solids and also the different minerals mode of occurrence of different minerals here is galena and if you want to change then you take here for example sphalerite and please note that these uh, finest and the coarsest size fractions weren't measured so it has created these and it seems to be very logical Let, let's check it for the galena which is our main interest uh, here we go galena the degree of liberation increases goes a little bit down here and the lowest here so is it the fully this is the highest degree of liberation is in this size fraction so looks a bit uh, strange uh, distribution and now it's silver visible here you can change the element liberation curves this is liberation of galena now for different size fractions and mineralogical limiting curves and that's the remaining are can be calculated only when the reference stream is coming uh, given so it will be recoveries against uh, some other stream meaning that we would open for example feed stream for the reference and study uh, the mineral mineralogy of the concentrate and therefore we would could compare the recoveries by mineral particle class against the feed okay there's one thing which could be done if we look now the number of particles 6000 so it's quite a quite a lot for them and then for the simulation and if we look the number of particles measured there are some classes which are almost zero so finally we will pack this information by uh, ribbing 
advanced binning stage and if I'm showing here the options so number of mini, minimum number of particles required in a class is here 10 so now it will combine a class since in a way that there are at least 10 particles in each class in some cases it can be less because it doesn't combine very different particle classes okay six thousand particles so packing this one now it starts to pack pack these uh, different uh, classes and we end up finally into 600 and now the chemical mineral composition hasn't changed and also if we look it from graphically what is this information shouldn't have been changed because it was just packing the information and uh, it's less rows for the simulator and now we save this one as a feed number four now this can be read in, with within HSC sim which we do in the in the other exercise but the, this exercise showed how to read in the liberation information in the HSC Geo and prepare it for the simulation. We read MLA data, but there is also a possibility to read uh, QuemScan data and also uh, Inca mineral data and generic format measured, for example, by optical microscopy. Okay, good luck uh, to with the, to repeating this yourself. Uh, with HSC Geo.